In this very quick video, I'm bringing you guys an updated guide to the AFK money race here in Forza Horizon 5. This race is going to allow you to earn skill points fast, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to use these skill points to farm regular and super wheel spins really, really quickly in Forza Horizon 5. So be sure to watch this entire video to find out how the updated method works for AFK racing. That way you guys can farm skill points really fast here in Forza Horizon 5. In addition to this, if you guys are wondering how to unlock the all new Series 15 cars instantly, such as the new Lamborghini Scion, the Cupra Urban Rebel, and more, check out the new Series 15 Forza Horizon 5 modded accounts and personal account mods now available at MitchCactus.com. Not to mention they currently have nearly 5,000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page, which reflects the quality of their services. You guys can use Mitch Cactus to supply you with the cars that are now seemingly unavailable in the auction house. And be sure to use my code Eradicate in the checkout for 5% off your purchase. But act fast because this won't be sticking around for long. So first things first, go ahead and make sure you have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. And you're going to want to go to your car mastery and basically upgrade everything so that you can earn the most skill points during your race. You're also going to want to put a good tune on the car. You guys can use this tune on screen now. Now once that's all taken care of, you can go to Event Lab, Event Blueprints, and then enter this share code I am here. This is going to show you a skill point farm race that you can use to get 10 skill points every 20 seconds. And you're going to want to start the event, and then go into Difficulty and Settings, and copy the settings I have on screen now. So once the race loads up, just hold down the acceleration, smashing into these obstacles, and you'll see that your skill chain is going to start accumulating, and by the end of the race you'll have earned enough skill chain to get 10 skill points even though your race will finish before the score at the top catches up. Then you can simply restart the race over and over and keep acquiring skill points, or whenever you're done and want to start converting these skill points into super wheel spins, you can do that as well. So the first car on the list is actually the Mercedes-Benz Tank Pool Forza Edition. You can get it for around 400,000 credits from the auction house, and you'll get 75,000 credits back, and a super wheel spin for only 9 skill points. This makes for a great car to farm as it's relatively inexpensive in terms of credits and the fact that you can get a super wheel spin for minimal skill points is also a huge benefit. Now it's important to mention that after you completely abuse owning this vehicle and redeem your skill mastery tree from the car, you can sell it in the auction house and get the money back to buy another car and also if your car didn't sell, you can simply reclaim it and start the farm all over again because the skill mastery tree will be reset. This applies to every vehicle when it switches owners through the auction house, as well as every car that you list for sale but doesn't sell. The next car is the PLP50. This car is a max buyout under 500,000 credits. However, you can always get it cheaper by bidding on the car. This is a very simple car to use to farm super wheel spins as there's normally a lot of these for sale and you can get a super wheel spin from the skill mastery tree for only 9 skill points. So if you guys are looking for super wheel spins, you can get the Bugatti Devo for around 2 million credits and the skill tree does include 50,000 credits back, 20,000 XP, which is essentially at least one free regular wheel spin from leveling up, and regular wheel spin, and two super wheel spins. So the rewards for this car are absolutely insane, and it's easily one of the best methods to use for farming. Additionally, you guys can sell this car afterwards and make the money you spent back. Therefore, you're basically going to get two regular wheel spins and two super wheel spins for free using this method. This car used to be a lot cheaper before the auction house shut down, but don't worry because some of these next cars are actually cheaper than they were before, so it ends up working out. The next car is the 1987 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Forza Edition, which can be purchased in the auction house for 300,000 credits. However, you can always bid on one and try to get it for less credits. And the cool thing about this vehicle is that you can get two super wheel spins from the skill mastery tree, so it's definitely another great car for farming. Next, we have the 1953 Chevy Corvette Forza Edition, which costs about 500,000 credits. This car includes a super wheel spin, 15 Forzathon points, and a whopping 100,000 credits. And lastly, we've got the Zenvo TSRS, which costs around 1 million credits. However, it does have a starting bid around half that price. This car includes 15,000 credits back, one regular wheel spin, and two super wheel spins. Now, there are other vehicles which can be used for farming. However, these are the best, I believe, for farming, as most of them provide two super wheel spins. And again, with the new update, you no longer have to buy too many cars from the auction house. You can simply sell the cars you use to farm wheel spins, and even if nobody buys them, you can reclaim them, and the skill mastery tree will be reset, giving you the ability to get more wheel spins from them. Now, if you guys are looking for the fastest way to make credits in Forza Horizon 5, go ahead and check out this video on screen now. 
to see how you can get $10 million every single time.